The next drill we're going to use is both a combination defensive drill, defensive transition drill, but most importantly, a block out defensive rebounding and offensive rebounding drill. It's probably the finest drill I have ever seen coast to coast in terms of essentially learning instincts in terms of blocking out. It's very difficult to hit a moving target and learn to communicate and it's very difficult when you make it a contest and a competition to get that ball secured while making sure you block out. The first thing we'll look at is probably what made us so successful the one season that we were undersized at Wyoming was the ability to overlook the ball first and make certain our opponent didn't go get the ball. And then next, collar the ball. What we'll do first is look at circle the wagons, a drill that Dutch Collins from Ohio really incepted in the 80s and make sure we find out what would be the best way to attack circle the wagons from a transition defense perspective. The defense will circle as quickly as they can, hollering out names as they would in the game or pointing to their players. The only thing they can't do in this drill is maintain their string. They have no string because we've told them to circle. The offensive players cannot move until the ball is shot. Once the ball is shot, it's a live drill. Offense, as relentless as they can, going to attack and get a hand on the ball or a rebound. The defense, on the other hand, must initiate contact, block out, and begin their break. In this drill, we were trying to work on transition defense. Thus, if the defense gets it, they're flying the ball up the floor, the offense quickly to transition D. Next, we'll show you different things you can add. All right, circle. Circle. Ready, we go call the name. Jamie. Who's got ball? Who's got ball? I got ball. 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 Okay, stop. Let's take a look at circle the wagons again. Ready? Circle. Jamie. I got Jamie. I got Jamie. I got Jamie. Take ball. Slow. Take ball. Slow. Essentially, we will change criteria again to change the emphasis. If the offensive team gets an offensive rebound, you might want to think about using this as your clock play. They get a rebound, they have eight seconds to execute. Let's see how quickly we can get the ball to the important player on our team and get a good shot. If the offensive team can gain possession, give them a full clock if you want to work on your continuity offense.